The mother of dragons has opened up about some of her biggest behind-the-scenes battles in the months after the extraordinarily divisive ending of Game of Thrones, which closed out its epic eight-season run in May 2019. Amelia Clarke, who played Daenerys Targaryen on the series, has spoken out about tough moments she experienced during filming, namely the scenes in which she appeared in the buff, and there were quite a few. Speaking with actor Dax Shepard on his podcast Armchair Experts, Clark got candid about the pressure to perform while bearing it all and the toll it took on her, especially considering the fact that she was quite young when she began her tenure on Thrones. Clark told Shepard that she suffered from serious imposter syndrome while filming, saying, I'd been on a film set twice before then, yeah. and now I'm on a film set completely naked with yeah. all of these people, and I don't know what I'm meant to do, and I don't know what's expected of me, and I don't know what you want, and I don't know what I want. She told Shepard that both her clothed and unclothed scenes on Game of Thrones caused her feelings of anxiety and self-doubt. Luckily, Clark had an ally in Aquaman himself, Jason Momoa, who played her husband, Carl Drogo, during the show's first season. Momoa completely had her back during these difficult sequences. He was an experienced actor who had done a bunch of stuff before coming onto this. He was like, sweetie, this is how it's meant to be, and this is how it's not meant to be, and I'm going to make sure that that's the case. Clearly, Momoa was warmly protective of Clark, who appreciated it immensely. He was so kind. He was a prince. And so, yeah, mm. and considerate, and like cared about me as a human being. However, as more time went by, Clark realized she had the clout to stick up for herself on set, saying that she became a lot more savvy about what she's comfortable doing. I've had fights on set before where I'm like, <laughs> no, yeah. she stays up. And they're like, you don't want to disappoint your Game of Thrones fans. And I'm like, <laughs> By the time she had to perform her final nude scene, which took place on the season 6 episode, Book of the Stranger, Clark took control, saying, I'm owning this, this is mine. They've asked me to do it, and I'm f***ing game. Game of Thrones featured plenty of full frontal scenes during its decade-long run, and Clark performed her fair share. From her wedding night with Khal Drogo to her rebirth from the flames that gave way to her dragons, some of those sequences actually made sense within the plot of the show. Beyond that, there were a handful of scenes during which Clark's Daenerys simply stripped down for no narrative reason, which obviously took its toll on the actress. Thrones became infamous throughout its run for using sex and nudity as narrative devices, even when it barely made sense to do so. And clearly, the comments made to Clark about keeping her fans happy was no outlier. Director Neil Marshall, who helmed the season 2 episode Blackwater, once opened up about how studio executives pushed him to add titillation when it wasn't needed, proving that HBO brass were likely more concerned with ratings than how the Game of Thrones cast and crew felt about the on-set environment. In the end, it's great that Clark found the strength to stand up for herself and that stars like Momoa stuck up for her when she couldn't. But it's unsettling that the higher-ups behind Game of Thrones pushed such a young actress in the performing scenes that made her uncomfortable. Ultimately, Clark Clark is clearly still proud of the show that brought her into national fame, and how she handled this important on-set dilemma will almost definitely help young stars going forward. If you missed Khaleesi, Game of Thrones is streaming in its entirety on HBO Go and HBO On Demand. If you want to catch Clark in a new role, her latest film, Last Christmas, is in theaters now. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more Looper videos about your favorite actors are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.